So we're here at, uh, you know, Bronx Pizza and Pints. I'm pretty excited about it because having come from New York, I am still searching for that one New York style slice of pizza in Wichita, Kansas. And I hope we find it here, Bronx Pizza and Pints. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So we are here at, uh, we're here at Bronx Pizza and Pints. Now they admit they're not from New York. They do. They admit that. They're they not do. from New York. Yeah. But they've told us they, they've had some people from the Bronx come in and try it and they've they've been they've been happy. So that's why I brought you, Mr. Syracuse. So I'm here for. I'm here I'm here just for that. And, and uh, listen, I have been looking for the perfect slice of New York style pizza here in Wichita for a long time. It may be the journey stops today. I don't know. We'll see. Now, first impressions, does it look like a New York style pizza well, to you? Anytime I get extra cheese and pepperoni pizza in front of me, I'm, I literally, my heart starts to beat. I feel like I'm Twitter painted like in Bambi because I'm really <laughs> excited. There's just like this Pavlov's, Pavlov's dog thing where, you know, ding the bell and now I want to eat. Uh, yeah. This does appear to be New York style-ish. So I'm going to check some more. The crust is a little crunchy here, but I think overall this looks, uh, I'm excited to give this one a shot. Now the true test of good New York style pizza Sometimes is the grease you can see, which we don't have a ton here, uh, but that doesn't necessarily make it bad. This means maybe that they pat it off before they do it. I do notice the seasonings they have on here with the oregano. It looks like they've got some Parmesan. Also some, uh, man, I, it could even be some garlic stuff in here. Look fantastic. Um, I'm excited to give this one a, a shot. It, uh, you can tell these little dough bubbles that you can see here. This is indicative of actually uh, hand tossed dough that's been cooked the right way. So. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit excited right now. I hope that this lives up to the standards that I've hit in my head. So some things I'm going to be looking for as I, as I test these and for them to pass the New York style test. First of all, the sauce has to be right. Can't be super sweet, can't be super sour, and it can't be overloading the pizza. Good New York style pizza actually does not have a whole ton of sauce on it. It actually accents the cheese and pepperoni flavor. So we're going to give that a shot as well, see, see what that looks like. And then the type of cheese that they use has to be the right blend. Say, Jason, what is the right blend? I actually have no idea. I just can tell it when I taste it. So we're gonna see if this passes the test. It does pass the snip test. It does pass the sight test. I'm about to dig into this and tell you if it passes Jason's test. Troy, what, is there a, is there any emotion that you're feeling right now? Just, I mean, kind of getting ready for this? Is this, does it do anything for you exactly? Just looking at it or are you just kind of, it's like just gumbo? I'm when just you... excited to eat pizza. Pizza is one of my favorite things to eat, <clears throat> but gumbo and crawfish, yeah, those give me a different kind of feeling. So it's probably kind of the feeling you get when you eat this could pizza. Be, could be. Now, good New York style pizza, I can actually put a piece on my on my head. Yeah. And my tongue will literally beat my brains out trying to get to it because it's so good. So we'll see how this stacks up. All right, so it's supposed to bend. Oh, it's still nice and hot, nice and hot. See if it burns the roof of your mouth. Definitely. No, oh, it definitely oh, I flops. like this. Oh, I like this. It's floppy. It's supposed okay. to be floppy? I do, it is. All right, cheers. Here we go. That's good pizza. That is fantastic pizza. Now, I'll be honest with you. New York, 100% style, it's like 90%. The sauce is just a little too sweet for what I'm used to, but it is fantastically very, very authentic. New York style ish pizza, best I've actually had in Wichita to date. I think it's really good. The, the seasoning, the oregano, the parmesan. I taste that. I taste the grease, man. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. grease. I know. It's really good. I did. I was a little disappointed. The cheese didn't like do this thing, but that, that doesn't matter. It was still the flavors are there. Flavors are there. I'm probably gonna go. I don't know, man. Pretty high. Scale of one to ten, I'm actually giving this one like an eight and a half. I'm yeah, not a lot. I was gonna go I, like I, I was thinking like eight point four. This is like an eight yeah. and a half for me. Um, again, the other New York style places in town that I've been to, the crust is wrong, and this place the crust is actually right. I just tried the crust. Yeah, it's good. It's doughy. A little slight crunch. A little buttery. A little buttery. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's good. One of the little known facts of true New York Italian pizza for true New Yorkers is when they get to the crust, they realize this is not the worst part of the pizza, but actually the best part of the pizza. Now, in order, okay, to, make, in right. or, in order to make the best part of pizza, we, we, again, if we had it here, we would take regular butter, 
and we would actually it's like butter. a stick of butter. Right? It, well, <laughs> you would actually butter the crust, and then you eat the crust. And it's something about the cold butter and the warm, crunchy crust mm. that is just phenomenal. So we didn't have a stick butter, but they brought us some liquid margin out here today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this into. You don't mind if I double dip, do you? I'm going to dip this right here into the margarine. Let me kind of let it run down here and. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's close. Not quite there, but it is close. You had some like garlic salt, garlic powder put in there. Oh, wait. Oh, you have it. Listen. Listen. There's a reason Italians don't live past 60. <laughs> you, how many old mobsters have you seen? Come on, man. We're all, we're they all either dead. Get, they yeah. either get shot or coronary. The, the, the pizza gets them. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Bronx pizza, pizza and pints. This one, I'll come back to. Yeah, two thumbs up. 